But a camera that shoots in high def probably isn't gonna last that long. Yeah, but it's not shooting in high def right now. See, it's like this is like the regular quality. Huh. So I usually like, my videos start out like this. Hi guys, Jackal here again. Right now I'm gonna go to Islands of Adventure. <laughs> faggot. This is my friend Michael. He's also a faggot. <laughs> my friend Adriana, say hi. Hi. And her friend Michael. Hi. A little bit of my fan too because he <laughs> likes my page. <laughs> So he's kind of like, I don't know, he's like my number one fan. So I'm going to be showing you, the YouTubers, my exciting He only has one fan. Shut up. So I'm like going to be showing you everything on my trip to Islands of Adventure. So I'm just going to cut it right now because this dude's being a fag. So how's the camera, Michael? I wanted to leave a break. And stop it. I'm here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We kind of skipped Seuss Landing and Lost Continent mostly because we didn't give a shit. Right now I'm in the boys' bathroom of Harry Potter. And you can hear Morning Myrtle in the background, which is really cool. Alright, Michael, come on. You're lucky I'm not turning the camera over to you, Michael. He's in the bathroom right now. Huh? That one didn't turn the camera while you were taking a piss. Why would you take a camera into a boys' bathroom? What's wrong? With you? I was like outside. And look, look at the way the entrance into the boys' bathroom looks creepy as hell. And right now we're about to go to the Forbidden Journey of Harry Potter. Hopefully, I can take the camera inside and record. If not, I'm sorry, YouTubers. Look, there it is! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Look at that shit! It's an amazing ass castle. Alright. Ooh, snowman. Hey guys, Jackal here in Jurassic Park. Michael over here, he wanted to be to do the introduction video again because he thought it sucked. It did. I know it did. But I don't want to film oh, it again. It did. Before you were saying it didn't, but now you're admitting it did. Well, I'm conflicted, but now I decide, yeah, it sucked a little, but I'm keeping it, because that's what acts like, that's the actual, the actual introduction. I'm holding the camera too close to my face, and now I don't know where I'm focusing. And now Jacko is going to go on that ride. No, I'm not. Yeah, he's... For those of you who don't know, I don't like rides with drops. There you go. It's not surprising, there's a dinosaur that goes, roar, and you go, ah! Well, I'm not <laughs> going on it. I don't care if there's a surprise, I just don't want to go. Not raise your hand. So I decided not to go on the ride, mostly because I don't like drops. I'm not afraid of dinosaurs or anything. Call me a chicken, call me what you will, but I just don't like rides where you just pew. So I don't know. What do you think about the ride? Do you hate it? Do you like it? Do you have a weird obsession about it? Tell me about it in the comments below. That's the weird safety video that keeps on repeating itself. It's kind of annoying right now. Welcome to the Jurassic Park River Adventure. It's awesome, really, and it's awesome, really experience. I this Harry Potter sweater. I want to get the sweater. Huh? I want to get the sweater. I'm not sure like what it costs though. The Harry Potter one? Yeah. It's Fifty dollars. Damn. Damn. Really? That kid had. It's black and it has all that. It has the. The crest. crest? That's the, the one houses. I have. It's fifty bucks. Damn. Damn. I know, I really want a jacket, but then again, I have one at home, and then my mom's like, why do you have two? Because it's cold. Yeah, but that's what it was awesome. It is, but I always wear it at school, and then it gets fucked up. Mm. I'm like, oh. All right, so quick review. Fish and chips, possibly the best plate ever here at Harry Potter. Are you filming that? Yep. It's, all you're catching is a light post and a fence. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching you now, mother. That's right, eat your damn fish and chips. Okay. While you're filming me, you're not enjoying your fish and chips. I am enjoying I just, I'm chewing. It's called chewing. That's what I'm doing. Awesome. Are you chewing and talking at the same time? I'm not. See, I was chewing while you so were So why'd you say you were chewing? I was <laughs> chewing while you say, why are you chewing? You were chewing while saying I was chewing. You can't chew and know. talk at the same time. I didn't know I was chewing after I said I, uh, ah, <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> Butterbeer, me. Fish and chips. Delicious. Now are you gonna tell me I have something <laughs> in my nose? Now I got cum on his nose and lip. <laughs> you do. I don't see how you have pants. 
I do. How he has what? Watch, like, I have like 128 subscribers right now. Watch it just go down to 50 after this video is posted. But you sound like a pedophile in your face. How the fuck did you, okay, that was well, the old one. That was the old one. You even look like one. The fuck up. <laughs> you look like a pedophile. I know. Okay. I am one. <laughs> you were children. You're not supposed to say that out loud. <laughs> it's not a secret anymore. So, Michael, tell me how that pumpkin juice tastes. <laughs> they didn't even capture that, stupid. Clearly, if I'm drinking it, it tastes pretty good. But I honestly prefer like butterbeer toward the pumpkin juice. That. I don't know, it's like, it tastes like I'm drinking a weird. Pie? But yeah, it kind of but like a pie mix of fruit juice, that kind of thing. That's what it is. Uh, Green ingredients on pumpkin juice, it's like pumpkin spice, apple juice, apricot juice, pumpkin seed. It's like, that's it. Yeah, oh, pumpkin pork? pulp. Yeah. I mean, I'll have it. <laughs> you would. I would. Exactly. <laughs> Danny is eating corn. <laughs> Make the butter so you can have butter beer with butter corn. Ah, wasn't it a heart attack at the end? Are you, are you should put the butter in the butter beer and be disgusting. Three I broomsticks. Put the butter beer all Fucking over awesome. The corn. Three broomsticks for the win. We should try wand made of elder. Fourteen inches, quite rigid. Ah, yes. And it contains the core. What I'd like you to do with this form, young sir, is levitate just one of those red wand boxes up above. Now, point your wand at one of them, and when you are ready, give your wand a swish and a flick, <coughs> and say, Guardian Leviosa. Whenever you That's are ready. Is up there? Yes, indeed. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. <laughs> Young sir, that is definitely not your box. <laughs> <laughs> but not to be concerned, you are doing just fine. And we are getting closer. And John, I sense a very powerful branching in you. And I am curious. Most curious indeed. Uh, now tell me, young sir, when is your birthday? Uh, September 16th. Uh, now, what I have for you here is a wand made of hot oil, 13 and a half inches, reasonably springy, uh, yes, and it contains the core of a dragon heart string. Now, what I'd like you to do with this wand, young sir, is ring <coughs> that bell. But just once. Now, point your wand at it very carefully, and when you are ready, just give it a wave. Young sir, you are indeed a tricky customer. <laughs> Not to be concerned. You see, John, for those of us who have studied wand law, it has always been that the best results always come when there is the strongest affinity between wizard and wand. Remember, 
these connections are complex. The wand learns from the wizard, and the wizard learns from the wand. Young sir, it has been a most sincere pleasure. And thank you for selecting all of that this thank afternoon. You. Yeah. Oh, yeah! It has strawberry and chocolate. Oh, oh my god! This looks so delicious. So nice. Okay, I'm in Honeydews. And this stuff looks amazing. Like, I just want to like take everything home. I'm probably going to get these pretty bucks. Oh my god. These things are like kind of nasty, some of them are. So, I'm a little bit suspicious about getting them. Service. 